Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a neurological condition that impacts more than 2 million people worldwide. Here today on Health Professional Radio to educate us about relapsing forms of MS or RMS, and a new treatment option is Dr. Robert Shin, professor of neurology at Georgetown University, and Carrie, a patient living with RMS. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Professor Shin and Carrie. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Dr. Shin, let me start with you. What is MS and what are the relapsing forms of the disease? First of all, I'd like to say I'm happy to be here on behalf of Novartis to talk about Kesimpta, which is a treatment for relapsing forms of MS. So you have to understand what is that. Um, multiple sclerosis is a neurologic condition where the immune system attacks the brain and spinal cord, causing a variety of neurologic symptoms or attacks or relapses. So relapsing forms of MS are really all of the types of MS where patients experience these episodes or relapses. When it comes to symptoms, are they pretty much the same across the board? Do they differ? What should someone expect as far as symptoms are concerned? Well, everyone with multiple sclerosis has a different story, but uh, patients with MS may have episodes of blurred vision, weakness, numbness, imbalance, memory issues, bowel and bladder symptoms even. Really anything that the brain and spinal cord control can be affected by multiple sclerosis. Is Kesimpta approved to treat all of the symptoms that you just mentioned? Well, Kesimpta has just been approved by the FDA as a once a month self-administered B-cell therapy for these relapsing forms of MS that we were just talking about. Um, B-cells are um, involved in MS, and so medications that target B-cells have been found to be effective. What makes Kesimpta different is that it's a once-a-month treatment that patients can self-administer. They can do a a home uh, subcutaneous injection by auto-injector once a month. Well, could you speak a little bit more about the benefits of Kesimpta as it relates to other treatment options, even uh, self-injectable treatment options? We have other MS therapies, but some of them involve infusions, meaning that patients have to go to a doctor's office um, or uh, an infusion center. Um, There are other medications that might be injections that occur more frequently. So I think that combination of a self-administered once-a-month injection is uh, what really makes key symptom unique. Uh, Every person with MS is different, so uh, certainly any listeners who have MS and might be interested in this option should probably uh, discuss this with their healthcare provider. Now, Carrie, if you would uh, share with us a little bit about uh, your story uh, living with RMS. Uh, Let's start with when, when you were diagnosed. When were you diagnosed? Sure. So uh, in 2012, I went through a two-week period of experiencing a loss of sensation in half of my face. I realized that I needed to see my doctor to understand why I was having these symptoms in the first place. And after undergoing testing, I was ultimately diagnosed with relapsing remitting MS, so RRMS. As far as living with RRMS, do you still experience symptoms on a day-to-day basis? How, how is the treatment going? Uh, I deal with headaches uh, occasionally, and sometimes I do still experience tingling in my face. Nice reminder. Uh, I tend to become tired, especially uh, living with two young boys in my house. You're living with RRMS. You, you're raising kids. Obviously, it can be a struggle at times. Where do you find your, your primary support? I rely on my family for support. Uh, When I'm feeling tired, my husband often jumps in with our boys, which is a huge help to me. Uh, Additionally, I joined a local gym where I take workout classes, and I found that others in the class are going through their own health challenges. So we've kind of bonded and found support in each other. Let's say you're talking with someone who's newly diagnosed with MS. What's one thing that you would tell them? I would tell anyone newly diagnosed with RMS that it's important not to change everything you'd already had planned for your life. Uh, Try not to compare yourself to others. Uh, As Dr. Shin says, RMS manifests itself differently from person to person. So while RMS may pose challenges, you kind of learn to live with them and adapt. Uh, Dr. Shin, as we wrap up, I've got one question, uh, one final question for you. Where can our listeners go and get some more information about Kesimpta? Sure. There is a website, kesimpta.com, K-E-S-I-M-P-T-A, 
where your listeners can get more information about uh, this treatment option, um, which, again, we're excited about as an option for relapsing forms of MS, uh, monthly self-administered B-cell therapy. Well, I'd like to thank you both, Dr. Robert Shin, Professor of Neurology at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., and Carrie, a patient living with RRMS, for joining us here on Health Professional Radio this morning. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.